Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited today. Today's video will be dedicated to everything that I've tried over the last month and a half. Things that are not worth your money, my money. Things that are definitely worth your money and things that I'm still undecided about. So let's go ahead and get into the tea real early about the products that I tried over the past month and a half that are not worth the coin, okay? So first things first, I know I did a video a few weeks ago about the Chanel products. Uh, so I tried the La Cream Main and then also the La Fette. So the Lafitte or Lafette is supposed to be a retinol um, infused uh, lotion, cream, and then the, the regular one is supposed to be a Protect Brighten cream. And after about a month of you guys or a couple weeks of you guys can see that, I already broke out. So definitely not worth the purchase for me. I have eczema prone skin, so I'm always hesitant on trying new creams and things like that. But after reading the ingredients, it was like Gerlisterin, which is, you know, a moisture, um, supposed to help with moisture, um, shea butter and shit like that. I was like, okay, well, let me just give it a good go. But at the price point of these two for breaking out, I feel like it's not worth the purchase. So um moving on to the next product is i have always loved a good lip balm you guys like a beautiful lip balm right so i was searching and searching and searching now mind you i have a few that i absolutely love but i wanted something like quick and a go and things like that because a lot of the applications like the one that i love the application it came with a little brush that got stuck in there and i never like went back and returned it but it's one of these things where you have to have a applicator for it and i would love something in a tube format like this so it brings me to the next product so um chanel apparently you guys well there was a group that i was in that suggested that i try the rogue cocoa balm and i love the application of it but it's not as hydrating as i would like it to be so traditionally i like a lip balm that i can put on have on for a few hours and i'm good this one is not a few hours worthy honey then a lot of y'all suggested or a lot of the same people suggested the dior lip glow um and honey same thing it does it is not it doesn't last so for the price point for these two this one is like thirty dollars and i think this one is forty dollars it's definitely not worth the coins honey like it's not worth the coins at all so i don't mind splurging on things that actually work and i don't mind you know going a little bit luxurious if i need to but for those products it definitely wasn't worth the coin the next product that I'm going to be talking about, and I love, I love, love, love this brand, but I don't like this product. So e.l.f. came out with a big mood mascara, <laughs> and I can say that it's definitely not my favorite. So I don't know necessarily if it's the brush. Um, it's really, really big, um, but I cannot say that I will be purchasing it again. I can't say that I love it. I definitely love, love, love their uh, Lash It Out Loud um, mascara. And I wear this pretty regularly above, you know, some of my designer um, mascaras like Pat McGrath, like um benefit and things like that i actually love this and i wear it very often but this one i'm not sure about i will give it a second go but off the bat just using it and trying to use it like in my everyday um is definitely not worth the purchase so let's get into my loves over the past month and a half so first we're gonna start with and i know i've talked about this brand a lot and i've actually reviewed them in my work from home video so um tower 28 or 28 tower uh depending on however you say it okay um i absolutely love 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 this sos daily rescue cream um or Desley Re daily rescue spray pardon me but i love it and to show you that i love it i have two and i have the really big bottle so i keep one of 
in my purse, one in my home desk, and then also one in my makeup get ready with me counter, which I truly, truly love. So anyway, I definitely just spray this throughout the day um, because I'm in here. The I have my window open to get natural light in and sometimes I have the fan on because it gets hot in here when I have the door closed and I'm working. So this definitely is eczema friendly, um, sensitive skin friendly, and it is a must have if you're working from home, a must have if you're changing climates throughout the day, and a must have if you um, are, like I said, working from home, changing climates, things like that. Okay, so let's get into the next one that our next couple products that I absolutely love. I tried this Huda Balm, Silk Balm, uh, the Huda Beauty, excuse me, Silk Balm, and you guys, it is, this is like my second or third one. This is definitely worth the purchase. I am not familiar with Huda, and I know that I've seen her throughout social media, Sephora, things like that. I'm not really a makeup, like a baked person to try her foundations and things like that, but when I saw this, I was like, you know, I'll give it a good try. It definitely leaves your lips feeling moisturized, like hydrated. You don't have to reapply it. And again, this is easier to carry than my Laneige, which I, you know, I'm in the house, so I'm like using it more. But I definitely put like a lot of this on at night to help my skin rehydrate. Next products that I absolutely love, and I talked about Mew Moon in a review, like an Ulta uh, review and things like that. So I absolutely have been loving, loving, loving this um um this let's say foundation, <laughs> this um toothpaste. Um, I'm a crest crest lover. I love crest, but I'm definitely you know wanting more healthier products, more vegan, more cruelty free products and things that are sustainably sourced so moon was an Ulta and I tried it and I've been using it for the past couple months and I absolutely love it I have the um tooth wipes I have the floss I have the uh, mouth rinse and all of that stuff is under $20 um I think a lot of like this was like six six or six six bucks five or six bucks which again if you're buying crest you're already paying that amount if you want a healthier option now moving on to sleep care okay <laughs> i absolutely love pacifica's um lavender moon body and pillow mist so i definitely stay awake um, throughout the night with ideas and things like that and I definitely wanted something to sleep if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that if I can't sleep I will use a gummy um, a melatonin gummy not regularly or not for bit having or anything like that but I definitely use it um, if I can't sleep so this is the alternate to that I just spray this on my pillow I've been using it probably for about two weeks now and it is gold definitely worth the purchase i think it was like five or six dollars at ulta as well this brand is also available at target so i would encourage you to do so moving on to my i'm not sure if i like it products so um i love keys um, this is Alicia Keys' brand it is available in ulta i absolutely love keys so care however i use their um body butter and their oil i love the oil love this combo but i tried their renewing body and hand wash and i honestly cannot tell a difference between this product and their golden milk cleanser which is twenty dollars and this hand and body wash is twenty four dollars i did use it because i obviously i want to try the products and see like using the body wash with the body butter and things like that it is eczema friendly i don't break out or anything like that with using it but i didn't see a difference with this hand and body wash versus the cleanser and i have used the cleanser as a body wash because um i don't like the cleanser on my face um, it, it doesn't really give you a lather, it gives you more of a scent. But anyway, um, anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be buying this. I prefer the actual face cleanser as a body wash versus the hand and body wash. So um, I definitely don't think that I'm going to be using, I mean, buying this one again once it's done. But if you guys have not tried the golden cleanser and you tried this, give me your thoughts about it. For me, I've tried both and I like the, the golden milk cleanser, face cleanser as a body wash versus the hand and body wash i think the scent is a little bit off the cleanser smells better than the body wash 
um and i'm just not sold on what the difference is between the cleanser and the body wash so um definitely interested in that the next things that i'm not sure about i'm still testing is the limer uh, cleanser and moisturizer at the price point that these two products are I can't say that I've seen a difference in my skin I, well I can say I, I definitely so there's two things that I noticed I've been using this exclusively for at least a week and I did notice some dry parts around my face like my nose and mouth area I did have a breakout and I think that was just side note based on what I was eating but I've tried these and I love them like I literally love them it smells like a spa in a jar on your face but as far as the benefits of anti-aging the benefits of wrinkles the benefits of all of those things I don't know that I see this in this particular product at this particular price point so I'm definitely going to hold off I'm still going to use it um, until it's done and then I'm going to give my final review as of right now this is more so of a maybe repurchase definitely not something that um, I'm 100% on right now so that's that. I already talked about Laneige. This is their lip treatment balm. I definitely love it. It's definitely worth the repurchase. I have it on my lips right now. Super hydrating. And then my last, last, last products that are definitely worth the splurge if you guys are interested. Number one is Warby Parker. I give crap to warby parker at first because i was like that shit is expensive it's like 200 dollars for some blue light glasses i don't see the difference but i was using key which is q u a y q u a y for a very long time rather early on in the um pandemic and when i switched over to warby parker i personally could see a difference um warby parker glasses are definitely um better as far as protection is concerned you could definitely see when i went into the store to demo the glasses they shined a light and it was definitely dimmer as far as the overall protection of the blue light versus the key brand so i have like three or four pair of key glasses and i was like okay at that point three or three or four glasses is one pair of warby parker so i was like you know what since i'm going to be working from home about two months ago, I was like, I'm going to be working from home. Let me just go ahead and invest in the Warby Parker. And I'm telling you guys, it's a game changer. I wear them even when I'm not watching the movies, even, even when I'm not, um, you know, at my computer all day, when I'm watching TV, when I'm going to the movies, when I'm around a lot of light, sometimes at night, I definitely wear them and they are a game changer. These are the Haley's. So H-A-L-L-I-E. They are prescription friendly. So if I needed glasses down the road with prescriptions, I can go ahead and infuse these. These are definitely worth every single dime I paid for them. I was a hesitant at first, but definitely worth the purchase. Um, if you're going to get blue light glasses <laughs> or any type of glasses for that matter, um, as I was advised, you have to clean them. Okay, so I was literally not these glasses, but my my Quay glasses or my key glasses. I I didn't really clean them so i picked up this up and up from target um cleansing glasses uh and i clean them every single day and for you guys to see that i use them a lot uh, i'm down to like my last pack which i'll probably need to re-up these like within the next month or two anyway last but not least the next thing that i think is worth your freaking purchase is this burkat 540 perfume Honey, I saw this circling on social media, you know, all those influencers, right? I saw it circling and I was like, you know what? I don't really know. I, I'm a very sensitive person, so I don't wear fragrance and perfume as much in my older day than I did in my younger day. I did definitely when I was younger, but definitely not now. But anyway, um, worst case scenario, long story short, I tried it at Neiman Marcus. I purchased it. I purchased the hair body oil from or the body scent in 540 um at Nordstrom and then I actually was talking to a friend and she was like girl just order from Port from Paris they have free samples and all these things um and so I did so I ordered the very very small one um I don't even remember what size this is oh actually 1.2 1.2 fluid ounces um and I actually got it engraved so I got my name on it Jay Savage and so I was like oh girl okay this is an experience so I definitely feel like if you are interested you definitely can order it from you know the vendors so, um it comes at Nordstrom uh and also Neiman Marcus but if you want just 
an elevated experience with the brand, um, just go ahead and order it directly from the brand um, and they will give you free samples and things like that. It is a unisex scent, so it is men's and women's, but I definitely love it on women. It smells like rich auntie, it smells like money, it smells like a luxurious experience, right? And rightfully so. So those are all of my products what i would buy again what i wouldn't buy again and what i'm on the fence for thank you guys for tuning into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time